So what brought me to Brazil in the first place was Shakespeare. Like lots of us, Shakespeare is a sort of passport for travel for so many Brits and uh, so many cultural makers and artists. And, uh, but when I came here, I became interested in lots of different things, even on that first visit in 1991. And on that first visit, I asked to visit a prison in each of the cities that I was giving a lecture on in. And uh, because I'd set up with James Thompson at Manchester University, I'd set up the Theatre in Prisons and Probation Centre, this was an opportunity to find out more about what was happening in the prison system here. So for the first 11, 12 years, really our work was very focused on working in prisons. And we worked across prisons, across 11 states, across the length and breadth of Brazil. Um, and during that process, of course, it's a great way to see a country, ironically. I mean, you meet uh, all sorts of people, you visit all sorts of spaces. And I met a lot of artists and arts companies that they may or may not have been working with prisoners, but I was fascinated by what they were doing because it related to what we were trying to do. Uh, and so even from the early days, we, I mean, since 1994, I've been working with Nostra Morro, the theatre company in Vigigal, up in one of the communities here. From 1998, I've been working with Afro Reggae. And so when we started to evolve our work out from the prisons to, to work in other contexts, or we start, we, the people we'd invited into the prisons, like Afro Reggae did a three-year project with us with juvenile, in the juvenile prison system. Uh, Nostra Morho made Shakespeare with us in, in prisons. So when we started ourselves to move to other places, it was natural to have to set up these new projects with some of the artists that we admired, and organizations we admired so much. And from that, I think, from that and with that, has always been this interest in where arts are made and how they're made in a distinctive way within Brazil and how we can learn and share around places where arts matter and where the art has an importance that, in some ways within the UK, we've, we've struggled to find that. <laughs>